Although ex-Muslims all share the fact we no longer believe in Islam, we are not all the same. Just like any other group of people, there is the good, the bad and the ugly. Some are politically on the right, some are on the left, some in the middle, some remain spiritual and some not, some have become atheist, some agnostic and some have converted to other religions. Some are outspoken, some are quietist, some hate Islam and some don't, and some are in between. But one thing we do have in common is that we all get called names. I have been called a fake, a Zionist, a Jew, a Christian, an agent of the Illuminati. I'm accused of being paid to speak against Islam. I'm told that shaitan has possessed me or I left Islam because I wanted to commit adultery, get drunk and have orgies. We are told that we were never truly Muslims. We were ignorant or misguided. We never studied or practiced Islam properly. Even those Muslims who do accept we were actually Muslims can't accept that we left Islam simply because there were things in it we found impossible to believe. They accuse us of evil intentions, of wicked motives, and can never accept us as good people. Even friends and family who still have some relationship with us cannot accept us as good and whole human beings. They say they will pray for me, make dua, mention me at the Kaaba when they go on Hajj that I return to Islam. They can't see how insulting it is that they cannot accept me as I am. This is the problem. Whereas most people like and accept a person based on their character and behaviour, devoutly religious people cannot accept another person as being wholly good or complete if they have left their religion. They are compelled to attribute some nefarious intentions, sinful nature or some sort of sickness, disorder or ignorance to them. Muslims quite rightly demand to be treated with respect and without hate and prejudice. But this must work two ways. I would consider it a massive step forward if Muslims could stop assuming ex-Muslims must be evil, bad, sick or ignorant. That many good, decent and intelligent people leave Islam for perfectly valid reasons. You don't need to agree with those reasons but at least accept that it is possible to see things differently and stop trying to discredit our journeys. Just like you, we would also like to be treated with respect and without hate and prejudice.